The third largest smartphone manufacturer in the world, China-based Xiaomi, just unveiled the production version of their all-new Su7 electric car, and it not only offers more range, but also starts at around $4,000 less than the base Model 3. In this video, I want to compare the Su7 to the Tesla Model 3 to really help determine which EV is better. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Now, unfortunately, the Xiaomi Su7 is not going to be available, at least for now, in the USA. But initial deliveries of the vehicle should be happening in China in April. And it's clear that tech giant Xiaomi is looking to compete head to head with the Tesla Model 3 in that market. During the launch event, Xiaomi's CEO even declared, according to this Electrek article, quote, many people ask me who the Xiaomi Su7 is built for. My answer is, isn't it time for Tesla Model 3 users to upgrade? Of course, Tesla recently redesigned the Model 3, and it's an amazing vehicle. It's even better than it was before, and it was already a great vehicle. In addition, Tesla's software and automotive electronics in general are pretty much the gold standard in the automotive industry. Now, I will say, first of all, that Xiaomi does have a big advantage over many other new companies that want to build electric vehicles because their main business is building smartphones and other electronics. So the software and user interface of their vehicles should be pretty good. And although they are new to the auto business and this is their first production vehicle, the car will be contract manufactured by Beijing Automotive Group Co. Limited, which is also known as BAIC, which not only manufactures vehicles under their own brand names, but also through joint ventures, they manufacture vehicles in China for Hyundai and Mercedes-Benz. However, long-term contract manufacturing really gives you a disadvantage when it comes to cost and efficiency. And these are two things that Tesla does extremely well. So for long-term competitiveness, I believe Xiaomi is going to have to manufacture their own vehicles. With all that being said though, how does the Su7 really compare to the Tesla Model 3? Interestingly enough, while the Su7 really appears to be directly marketed as a competitor to the Tesla Model 3, it's actually quite a bit bigger than the Model 3. The Su7 is approximately an inch shorter than the Model S and is nearly 11 inches longer than the Model 3. Beyond the size of the vehicle, when it comes to the exterior design, when I take a look at this vehicle, it really reminds me of a mashup of a Porsche vehicle and a Maserati. However, while I wouldn't call it an ugly vehicle in any way, it's definitely not an ugly vehicle, but the more I look at it, really the less I like the design. Overall, it looks a little too busy for me. I like a little bit more of a clean design, but Nonetheless, you may really love the design and you can let me know down in the comments section below if you like the design of the Su7. But nonetheless, when I take a look at the new refreshed Model 3, I really like the newly refreshed Model 3 much better when it comes to the looks of the exterior versus the Su7. Okay, beyond exterior style, what about interior style? Well, the Su7 does have a large center touchscreen like the Model 3, but with the addition of a digital cockpit driver's display, and a head-up display. Although a lot of the car's functions are controlled by that center touchscreen, similar to the Model 3, the Su7 does also have more physical buttons than the Tesla Model 3. For example, there are buttons underneath the center touchscreen and in the front center console area. I do like that the Su7 has a large panoramic glass sunroof, and the seats look very comfortable and come in some really cool colors. Now, overall, the Su7 interior does look pretty nice and it looks decently premium and I'm not sure how it'll actually be when people review it in person, but just with pictures and taking a look at what it has, it looks very impressive. However, I personally prefer the Tesla Model 3 interior design over that. I like a little bit more simplicity and I really think that Tesla did a better job with the Tesla Model 3 interior, the newly refreshed version. But nonetheless, you may disagree with me you may like the Su7 interior better. However, the Su7 should have one marked interior advantage over the Tesla Model 3, and that's due to the fact that once again, the Su7 is nearly 11 inches longer than the Model 3, so it should offer more passenger room. Okay, let's talk about a cost comparison. In the introduction of this video, I mentioned that the Xiaomi Su7 starts at around $4,000 less 
than the base Model 3. Now I'm talking about prices in China and converting those over to US dollar equivalents. Now, when you look at the lineup, the Xiaomi Su7 is going to be sold in three different variants. The first variant actually starts at an equivalent at the time that I did these conversions here at just a slight bit under 30,000 US dollars. Whereas the base Model 3 in China starts at just a little bit over $34,000. So the Su7 is really a very competitively priced electric vehicle. However, at this price, the CEO has admitted that Xiaomi is losing money on the vehicle when they sell it at this price. However, Tesla, on the other hand, is highly profitable. And Xiaomi can't be losing money on this vehicle forever. And really going back to contract manufacturing, with Tesla, since they manufacture their own vehicles, and of course, they have a lot of vertical integration, their cost per vehicle is very low compared to a lot of the competition. However, with contract manufacturing, there's another company there that has to make a profit off that vehicle. So there's really kind of a double markup there, which means that it's going to be really hard as long as Xiaomi uses a contract manufacturer, it's going to be really hard for them to be um, really competitive with Tesla when it comes to efficiency and the cost of manufacturing. However, beyond that, when it comes to range, it looks like the Su7 is going to offer quite a bit more range than the Tesla Model 3. For example, when you look at the rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3, that vehicle, according to the very generous CLTC cycle, is rated at 606 kilometers of range, whereas the base Su7 should be rated at around 700 kilometers of range. And this is due to a larger battery pack with the Su7. That vehicle's battery pack is supposed to be around 73 6 kilowatt hours, whereas the Tesla Model 3's battery pack, that rear wheel drive base unit, is approximately 60.2 kilowatt hours. In addition, Xiaomi offers two other battery sizes for the Su7, including a 94.3 kilowatt hour battery and a 101 kilowatt hour battery. So while the longest range Tesla Model 3 variant right now available in China offers 713 kilometers, once again, according to the CLTC cycle, the most efficient Xiaomi Su7 Pro will offer up to 830 kilometers of range. So quite a bit more than the Tesla Model 3. Now I do wanna talk about the battery technology built into these vehicles. The Tesla Model 3, the rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3, of course, is equipped with CATL lithium iron phosphate batteries. The long range all wheel drive Model 3 is equipped with 2170 batteries. And I believe those 2170 batteries are made by LG Energy Solutions. And they are either nickel manganese cobalt or nickel manganese cobalt aluminum batteries. When it comes to the Xiaomi Su7, the base version of the vehicle is equipped with lithium iron phosphate BYD blade batteries. However, when you move up to the Su7 Pro or Max, you get CATL batteries. And I believe both of those battery packs have nickel manganese cobalt batteries from CATL. I don't believe that an LFP battery chemistry would be able to give you 94.3 kilowatt hours or 101 kilowatt hours out of that battery pack. So I'm pretty certain these are nickel manganese cobalt battery packs for these two longer range trims. Okay, moving on, let's talk about Cargo capacity. The Su7 front trunk offers around 105 liters or 3.7 cubic feet of cargo space, and that is slightly larger than the Tesla Model 3's 3.1 cubic feet of cargo space or 88 liters of cargo space for that front trunk. However, when it comes to the rear trunk space, the Model 3 does offer more cargo room than the Su7. The base and pro models of the Su7 offer around 517 liters or 18.3 cubic feet of cargo space. And the max version of the vehicle only offers around 493 liters or 17.4 cubic feet of cargo space in that rear trunk, as compared to the Model 3, which offers around 594 liters or 21 cubic feet of cargo space there in the rear trunk. Okay, let's now talk about a performance comparison. Unfortunately, the ludicrous, the newly refreshed ludicrous Model 3, the new performance version of the Model 3, those specs have not been released yet. So I don't know how quick that vehicle 
is going to be. But I do expect that it'll be quicker than the previous version of the Model 3 Performance, which was able to go 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, which equates to 0 to 62 miles per hour in around 3.3 seconds. I believe that the new Ludicrous Model 3 may possibly be able to go 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in less than 3 seconds. I believe that's definitely possible, especially when you take a look at the Su-7 Max. That vehicle is able to go 0 to 62 miles per hour, or once again, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 2.78 seconds, according to Xiaomi. And that's really impressive. And when you look at the 0 to 60 mile per hour time of that base model there, that is quicker than the rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3, but when you look at the long range all wheel drive 0 to 60 mile per hour time versus the Su7 Pro, the long range all wheel drive Model 3 is a decent amount quicker. But nonetheless, for a really direct comparison for that performance model as compared to the Max Su7, we'll have to wait until Tesla releases the specs for the ludicrous Model 3. Another important comparison for electric vehicles is charging speed. So I built this chart here to compare the charging speed difference between the Tesla Model 3 and the Su7. According to Xiaomi, the base model of the Su7 should be able to go from a 10% to 80% state of charge in just 25 minutes. The Pro version in 30 minutes and the Max version in a very quick 19 minutes. Although the Tesla Model 3 does charge pretty quickly from a 10% to 80% state of charge, as you can see here on this chart, when you actually look at the amount of kilometers that are being added per minute of charging, according to the CLTC cycle here, you can see that when it comes to the actual practical charging metric here, it looks like the Xiaomi Su7 does have an advantage here over the Tesla Model 3. It will be interesting to see how this actually plays out in real life, but at least according to what we see here, it does appear, the Su7 does appear to have an advantage. Beyond all that though, let's compare the technology and features of these two vehicles head to head. The Tesla Model 3 is of course packed with a lot of great technology, but the Xiaomi Su7 is as well. For example, both of these vehicles do feature a power tailgate, wireless phone chargers, ventilated and heated seats, a heated steering wheel, a full ADAS suite, and Xiaomi does also have driver's assistance software that is somewhat comparable, at least on paper, to Tesla's um, driver's assistance software. And they call their software Xiaomi Pilot Pro or Xiaomi Pilot Max for the better version of their technology. And in addition, like the Model 3, the Su7 does have a decently large infotainment screen in the front. And the vehicle gives you the ability to dock either two Xiaomi tablets or iPads to the back headrests to give the rear passengers displays as well. Of course, the Model 3 does have an 8-inch fixed rear display for the rear passengers as well. Now, I haven't seen how well the Xiaomi Pilot Pro or Max driver's assistance features work, and I believe they're going to be pretty good, but Tesla has a lot more experience with that kind of technology. In addition, their full self-driving beta is really looking pretty incredible with software version 12 with the latest release. Tesla, their, their software is getting really close and it looks like a full self-driving Tesla is going to happen in the future. Xiaomi may have excellent software, but I doubt that they're going to be ahead of Tesla in this particular regard. Nonetheless, when it comes to the hardware that the Su7 has to enable these driver's assistance features, the vehicle does feature NVIDIA drive or in chips, offers LiDAR on the Pro and Max trim levels of the vehicle, has either one radar on the base model or three radars on the Pro and Max versions of the vehicle, features 11 exterior cameras and 12 ultrasonic sensors. This is quite a complicated sensor suite as compared to the Tesla Model 3, which doesn't have ultrasonic sensors or radar and definitely not LiDAR, but only has cameras. And Tesla Vision uses their cameras with their software to navigate the world around them. And Tesla's full self-driving beta software, version 12 right now, is extremely impressive. So at the end of the day, as long as Tesla is able to solve full autonomy with their camera system, it looks like they're going to have a huge advantage when it comes to the cost of implementation of their system in the future over Xiaomi. One other thing that I want to point out about the Su7 before I wrap this up is the fact that Xiaomi did implement a rear casting into the vehicle, whereas the Tesla Model 3 still has a composite rear and front underbody of welded pieces together, unlike the Model Y and the Cybertruck, which feature rear underbody castings for both the front and the rear. 
Tesla is definitely an expert in this technology, and I believe the Model 3 will eventually get underbody castings, but for now, the vehicle does not have that. With all that being said, while the Xiaomi Su7 does look like a pretty amazing vehicle on paper, when it comes to the actual real world use of the vehicle, that will be the key. Because once again, this is Xiaomi's first production vehicle. Tesla has had much more experience refining their vehicles. And I really believe that the Model 3 ownership experience and the overall driving dynamics of the vehicle is going to be superior over the Su7. And I'm not saying the Su7 is going to be bad. I think it's going to be an incredible vehicle. And I'm glad to see a worthy competitor like this coming onto the market. I would love to drive the Su7 and give it a test drive. And I think it would be fine if it came to the US market. I'd love to see competition for the Model 3 because it only pushes Tesla to improve their vehicles more. But nonetheless, I personally would rather own the Tesla Model 3 over the Xiaomi Su7, but I'd like to know what you think in the comments section below. Which vehicle would you rather own, the Xiaomi Su7 or the Tesla Model 3? Let me know in the comments section below. And also, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.